Good morning. Three times we have swung this bucket of water in a vertical circle and discussed various physics concepts. Today we are going to drill two holes in the bucket, fill it with water, and then drop the bucket. Flippin' physics! As you can see, water flows out of the holes in the bucket. Now watch what happens when I drop the bucket. No, <laughs> just kidding. We're going to talk about the physics first. Yeah, that, yeah that's a good idea. Of course we are. Bo, why does water flow out of a bucket that has holes in it? Because it has holes in it. Right. Could you please give me an answer which is more physics-y? Well, the force of gravity pulls the water down, but you are holding the bucket up. The bucket pushes up on the water to hold the water up, but where the two holes are, the bucket does not hold the water. So the force of gravity pulls the water out of the bucket. Sure, that works for me. Now watch what happens when I drop the bucket. Pretty cool, eh? Nice. Oh, yeah. Before I drop the bucket, water is flowing out of the bucket. Then I drop the bucket and I can pause the video right here. So you can see clearly that water stops flowing out of the bucket when the bucket is falling. Billy, why do you think that is? Well, when you drop the bucket, the force of gravity is still acting on the bucket and water. However, you are no longer holding the bucket up. So the only force acting on the bucket and water is the force of gravity. The whole thing enters free fall and accelerates downward at 9.81 meters per second squared. In other words, the bucket no longer gets in the way of the water and the water and the bucket both fall straight down. Correct. When the bucket is dropped, the water and the bucket are both in free fall and fall straight down. Everything is accelerating downward at 9.81 meters per second squared, so the force of gravity is not pushing the water out of the holes of the bucket. Instead, because there is nothing stopping the water from freely falling, the water can go straight down. Therefore, water stops flowing out of the bucket. Mr. P? Yes, Bo? I'm still not really understanding why, if the water and bucket are both in free fall, that means the water stops flowing out of the holes. Uh, how about this, Bo? Uh, think about the bottom of the bucket relative to the water. The bottom of the bucket is always accelerating downward at the same rate as the water, so the bottom of the bucket is basically always getting out of the way of the water because they are both in free fall. Therefore, the water is never able to catch up to the holes and the water falls straight down. Okay, yeah, sure. That helps. Thanks. But Mr. P, why does the water not immediately stop flowing out of the bucket when you drop it? Yeah. Hmm. Okay, Billy, so before I drop the bucket, some of the water inside the bucket is flowing toward the holes. When I drop the bucket, the water stops being pushed out of the holes by the force of gravity. However, the inertia of the water, which was already flowing toward the holes, keeps the water flowing toward and out of the holes. So the inertia of the water, or the tendency of the water to try to maintain a constant velocity, does cause it to take about half a second for water to stop flowing out of the holes of the bucket. Oh, okay. sure. Inertia. That, that makes sense. Thanks. Thank you very much for learning with me today. I enjoyed learning with you.